Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our new web service consumer in the Mule 3.5 early access release. We're going to build a simple flow which receives JSON over HTTP, invokes an external web service, and then converts that XML response back into JSON. To do this, I'm going to select the HTTP element here and drag it in, which will create a flow for me. And then I'm going to select the web service consumer from the palette. And that allows me to invoke an external web service. From here, I'm going to set up the connector configuration by clicking Add. This is where I can set up my WSDL, my service port and address for the web service I'm consuming. To do that, first I'm going to give it a little bit simpler name. We'll call it the T-shirt service because we have a T-shirt service that we're going to go allow people to order t-shirts from. And I'll select a WSDL, which I've already dropped inside my project. You can see here that this just automatically displays any WSDLs that are available to you. Once that's done, AnyPoint Studio will select the service port and address for you from that WSDL uh, if it can determine which one to use. Finally, I'm going to click OK here. Now all my operations in my WSDL are available inside the connector dialog. So in this case, if we're going to order the t-shirt, so I'll select order t-shirt. And now all I need to do is my data mapping from my input and from my output. To use that, I'll use data mapper. I'm going to drag that in here on the left and the right. And on the input side, I want to receive JSON. So what I've done is constructed some example JSON here, which has some fields like size of the t-shirt, email address, name, and so on. We'll use that as a sample input. On the input side here, I'm going to then select JSON. And what I can do is choose a sample. I'll choose that input JSON. And then you can see that data mapper automatically detects that we're going to map it over into the order t-shirt XML type from our web service. Once I hit create mapping, it maps everything that it can. You can see that everything is fairly correlated, except for state here, which I can just drag and drop and complete my mapping. On the output side, I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to select JSON as my output, and Data Mapper automatically detected my t-shirt service uh, input and XML type. In this case, I'm not going to use a sample. I'm going to take advantage of Data Mapper's ability to automatically generate an equivalent data structure based on my input. So I'll click Generate Default, and what you'll see here is that my left-hand side, which is my XML, completely mirrors my right-hand side. And that's it. That's all we needed to do to go and create a simple HTTP service which invokes an external web service and does JSON to XML mapping. We hope you find this new functionality very useful and download the early access and try it out. Thanks.